Hey now, konnichiwa, namaste. What time is it? It's time for yet another episode of Pappy's Dirty Kitchen. Yeah! All right, so uh, what's on your palate? Because uh, mine's, I'm thinking chicken, marsala, or my take on it. So anyway, uh, I've got some, uh, I've got some uh, garlic here. I already did two. I wanted to show you all the little gadget there. Not everybody knows about these. This is the one with the bumps on the inside. It works even better. But uh, you just point that. There you go. And there your garlic's peeled. Awesome. Easy peasy. And then we use our garlic rocker mincer press or whatever. And we get, get that all uh, minced up. We got three uh, cloves of garlic here. Pretty good sized ones. So we got our garlic. Uh, I got a big pan over here, but uh, we got a uh, medium, about a medium size Vidalia or sweet onion chopped here. And then we have a pound and a quarter of uh, sliced baby bellows. Some of these, <laughs> you know, I showed it to somebody, the cable, cable lady uh, that came and fixed the cable. Uh, she, uh, said those look like uh, toddler Bellas, not uh, baby Bellas. But anywho, so we got a pound and a quarter there all sliced up. And we've got two cups of uh, chicken stock. Uh, and uh, I like to use, uh, to make mine, I use chicken base. And I use better than bullion. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I don't know, what was it about, hmm, tablespoon and a half or so, I don't know, and this is uh, the reduced sodium, I like that better because uh, the other is kind of salty to get a nice chickeny taste, unless you can add quite a bit and it's forgiving. Alright, so and then the final ingredient for this step of the sauce for chicken masala or my masala is uh, whatever uh, your favorite dry red wine. You know, real dry. This one's wicked friggin' dry. It's black cherry Merlot uh, that uh, somebody in the family made. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to use about that much. Use about that much. Yeah. All right, let's get cooking. Turn on the heat. I'm going to turn up to high for right now just to get everything going. All right. But uh, let, let me move the camera. Oh. All right. So anywho, so we're going to add some oil to the pan. I don't know, about a tablespoon or so. Get that going. Add our garlic. Get all our garlic in there. Yeah, that's groovy. Yeah, this garlic thingamajig is available in my uh, uh, at my favorite store I've never been in uh, it rhymes with Damazon but uh, yeah let's get this garlic going 
that oil and stuff a little flavored. Doesn't take long for it to release the oils. All right. Now we're gonna add our uh, onion. Join. And our onion. Let me turn this down now to about medium heat. All right. So yeah, you want to sweat these down. Get these all sweat down and uh, should be groovy. What is that hanging out like that? Get this all sweat down. All right. I'll be back for the next next part of the sweating down. All right, so we got our onion sweated down here. I don't know if you can see that. Sort of translucent. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna add. Uh, I forgot to mention, you take a little bit of your uh, chicken stock and you add uh, cornstarch to it to make a slurry, a cornstarch slurry. Uh, but anyway, add your uh, chicken stock. Alright. Alrighty. And there's about, I don't know, two or three tablespoons uh, of cornstarch I put in that. I'm going to add my wine, Ugh. get the cork out of here, it's actually a real cork. Hmm. Definitely get a save a bit, hold on. That's good. All right, now uh, now you can add your uh, mm, that that is really good. Mm, 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 mm. All right, now we're gonna add our mushrooms. All right. Oh, had a couple left in the bag. There we go. Now you want to bring this to a boil and simmer, uncovered, until the uh, mushrooms are done to your liking. I like them pretty uh, soft, and uh, yeah, I like them pretty soft. Mm -mm -mm. That looks like a lot of love right there. All right, so anywho's. I'm going to go do something else and come back and stir this occasionally. But uh, that's not usually wise, but uh, we'll see. Hey now, I'm back again and we got it all uh, uh, reduced and cooked down. You know, there's probably a cup here now. And let's see how, uh, I'm only going to add a little bit of this chicken stock slurry and see... Uh, see how uh, how thick she gets there we go get it nice and thick it doesn't take long stir it all around oh my gosh that is perfect man Just with that amount there, I'm taking this off the heat. Look at that. Look at that grooviness. You see it? Oh. Oh, yeah. All right. Talk about love. And if it gets too thick or whatever, if you want more sauce or whatever. Uh, but no, look, look at that love. Look at that love. Yeah. Perfecto. Alright, take it off the heat. I'm going to cover it. Oh, that's hot. Oh. Alright. 
right? And uh, in a little bit, I'll show you uh, the rest of the meal with the, the chicken that's flattened, and then you uh, fry it, bread it, and fry it, and, uh, and uh, serve it with whatever noodles you prefer. Uh, and you probably should have had those going at the same time, but I'm doing this in stages or whatever, just because uh, I don't have to have dinner at a certain time tonight. And, uh, yeah, your favorite pasta, I'm doing mine with egg noodles. With egg noodles, yeah. All right, so uh, uh, maybe I'll continue the rest. Sorry, I don't understand. I said egg noodles, not you. I'm back. Uh, are you ready for this? We got. Uh, let's do this. All right. So we've got uh, our butter noodles. All right. We're gonna put those on there. You look at this beautifulness. Buttered noodles. Again. Egg noodles. All right. We get our buttered egg noodles. Get our chicken. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that grooviness right there, man. Really should cut that in half and double it. That's what I'm doing right now. I haven't really eaten today. All right, so uh, we got that. And now we get to add the star, the marsala. Oh, this tasted so good. All right, let's do this. Oh. oh, look at that love. Look at that love. A little more of the juice. Yeah, yeah, look at that love. All right. Can't get that at Mickey D's, man. All right, and then to top it off, some parm. All right, lovely. Look at that beautifulness. Look at that beautifulness. This has been a groovy episode, I think. And uh, what's on your palate? And remember, cook responsibly. And this has been another episode of Pappy's Dirty Kitchen. Yeah! See ya, people.